We need police. I'm gonna get up my axe. Axe. Here we go. Maybe I can just... Oh, they're reloading. Okay. Come on, go! Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, this video is going to be in flashing lights, and we're going to be playing as a firefighter today. Now, yesterday we did do a video of flashing lights, and I must say, a uh, just giant thank you to every single one of you guys who watched the video, who shared the video, who supported that video. Um, it is currently doing absolutely amazing, and from the feedback, Sounds like you guys want us to do more videos in flashing lights. So that is what we are here to do. So yeah, the reason I'm making this video is literally solely because of just the comments and support on yesterday's video. So yeah, big, big shout out to you guys. Um, I'm probably going to say that a few times this video, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make that known. But anyways, let's bring our fire truck out here. And another thing I want to mention, guys, is yesterday in the video, we had our settings in the game to go by fuel um, at a high level, right? So as fast as possible, just go through our fuel. And I decided to make that now the middle option. So there's like low, medium, and high for your fuel consumption. And yeah, so we're now at medium, so we shouldn't have to deal with it um, being such... An annoyance I guess it's not really an annoyance it's realistic it's cool that they added it um, just obviously when we're on a call and we run out of fuel it's a little bit it's a little bit unprofessional um, and also it kind of just looks bad on the fire department or the police uh, station or whatever right depending on what we we're doing but anyways I'm gonna actually go on the oncoming traffic uh, because of where this fire is located at so here we go. We'll go as close as we can to this vehicle. I do not want to hit it though. It's a pretty good spot. Uh, what I will do, however, just to make sure people aren't too confused, is get out some cones. Now those are under additional traffic cones. There we go. Uh, just because we want people to know they can go around us, but we don't want them to hit us either. So we'll just kind of go like that. It should be good. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to lay out even more that's a little bit further away so they aren't like caught off guard last second. And yeah, that should be should be good. Now we do have some directional lights on here actually, so we probably should get those turned on. Now, well, they're at the back, but let's see if we can, yeah, that should direct people. Yeah, you really can't see them at the front though, but at least people know that is how that works. Okay, let's start with this fire. So it is a vehicle fire. Let's get a water line run. Okay, so here we go. Actually, I'm going to put on our gear as well, just so we get that out of the way. So fire, we'll do water supply hose. Now we should have enough water in here, but just in case, I'm going to run a line. Uh, just, I don't know, it's probably a good idea. Do we not have, ooh, that's a little bit too far. Okay, we will have to go to the one over there. Yeah, I would go across the street, but the concern is if someone like drives over top. No way there's a vehicle parked in front. All right, this is why this is why I don't like when cars do that. And I always tell you guys to never do that. We won't be able to connect to water. Hopefully we will just have enough in our tanker. Luckily we are full right now because yeah, it's going to damage that vehicle. And although we have the ability to do that, I'm just going to be nice even though they didn't do the right thing we're gonna be the bigger person and just use what we got now if we run out of water I will fully cut the vehicle in half and run a hose through it I don't really care about that <laughs> but for now we'll try being the bigger man here we go so we have four out of seven taken out on the first spray which is really really good let's see if we can do multiple again there we go doing two fires at once right now uh, we like to see that, guys. It's one of those newer features. They added it a few few months ago, actually, but still relatively new. Oh, there we go. Seven out of seven fires done. So, sadly, we do need to go back to the station before we can go on another call. Hopefully, we don't get a call right now. We probably will, though. There we go. Because, uh, yeah, we do not have enough water, really, to go out on a call. Unless it's like rescuing a cat from a tree. I will be comfortable doing a call like that. 
But there is a new callout as well. Uh, it's helping out the police with the arsonist call. Now, I'm not sure if it does spawn in single player. Um, it doesn't say that it's multiplayer only, but I initially thought it would be multiplayer on only. So I'll have to see. Tree block and road. I'm actually not going to take that call just because we've done quite a few of those calls in the past, um, especially in like our live streams. But anyways, let's go ahead, back on up. I'm actually going to turn on the sirens so people know we're coming and we will turn off our hazards there. Uh, oh, also, you guys said I can turn my blinkers with Z. Uh, does that work? I guess with all of our lights on, it's kind of hard to tell. What about F? Oh, okay, it is F. I, I thought it was either Z or F. For whatever reason, I thought the comment though said, um, said Z, but we're good. Or Z for you Americans. Okay, we're not accepting that call. Wish we could, but we cannot. So there we go. We are now all good to go. Uh, and I will notify the police about that vehicle. I hope it gets towed, because it should be towed. It really should be. There we go. Stop here. And yeah, should be good. Also, uh, just, just a little thing if you guys, I know lots of you don't really care about. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, we're taking this call. This is a new call. Never mind. Ignore what I was going to say. Uh, I was going to say, a lot of you don't care about my personal life. Some of you guys do, though. Um, for you guys who do, I just want to say, uh, regarding like my driving test, it actually did not happen yet. Uh, I got moved. It's going to be in a few months. Okay, is that person running from the call? I feel like that person's a criminal. But our job is to take out the fire, so there's nothing you can really do there. Oh, yeah. Right, right when we left is when this happened. Okay. Um, I don't want to cause a traffic jam. I'm going to actually let these cars go. You just hit the cop car. And now you're turning into me? Okay, okay, hold up. Hold up, yeah, you get out of the way. There we go. Now I'm going to go over here. Oh, I don't know if we're going to have enough water for this. Okay, you know what? Now we're a bit closer to the line, so we can run it down there if need be. All right. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn on the lights. No, no, no. Or the the hazards to go around. Uh, yes, signal them that way. Should be good. Okay. Let's get on our gear. Uh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll run the supply hose line first. Because I, yeah, I do not want to wear this uh, gear when we do this. Because it's kind of heavy. Not going to lie. Luckily, our hose does reach here. That's good to see. Now, I don't know what this car is doing. They are a little bit drunk, it seems. Or something's happening with their driving. Not quite sure what exactly. And yeah, this is also an instance of why we don't park on the sidewalk. Because luckily, we had a way to attach this side of the fire truck. But if we didn't, we would be in a predicament right now. Let's go ahead. Rescue. Oh, whoops. Not rescue. Fire to water hose and I believe we can attach it this side oh geez oh oh they're shooting they're shooting I don't know what to do um I I don't have a way to oh no 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 um uh okay don't run to this side of the vehicle please please don't run to this side of the vehicle how do I call for police? We need police. I'm going to get out my axe. Axe. Here we go. Maybe I can just... Oh, they're reloading. Okay. Come on. Go. There we go. We got them, guys. We got them. Okay. Uh, request transport. We did take them out. Oh, that was a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. I feared for my life. I don't know where... I, that was self self defense, I guess, right? Um, yeah, okay, that's gonna be messy. Let's go ahead and get a water hose now. Wow, that just that just happened. Okay, let's take out this fire. <laughs> wow, that was actually really intense, guys. I've never had to do anything like that in the game as a firefighter. Like you usually just take out fires, right? I guess that's where you would want multiplayer because then you could have some officers respond to the scene as well. We wouldn't just have to 
use our axe to take out the suspect. That's a little bit crazy. Still can't believe that just happened. All right, there we go. Come on, take out this fire. This should be the last one. We should be all good. Perfect. Okay, and the paramedics did grab them. I'm guessing the officer went with them. I don't know where the officer is, though, who owns this vehicle. But we are all good there, guys. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead, drive to the station, fill up the truck. When I'm doing that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, we just actually got another arsonist call. Uh, it does look to be a different person though. Yeah, they are a lot further. And we, actually, I guess we did take out uh, the last person who who was at the arsonist call. That was so scary. I still can't believe that happened. We literally got attacked as a firefighter. Um, yeah. Yeah, not really was in the do in the job description, but got to be ready for anything. And luckily, we did have an axe on the rig to assist uh, with us not getting taken out. But okay, we're going to have to go up all this windy road. And oh, this is going to be a fun drive. All right. We usually don't go this way when we are going to calls like this um, because, as you can tell, it's a little bit challenging. You'll see the train coming up is going to be very very challenging actually to navigate our way through but it is something that we'll do this time because it's just technically it's closer but with how much we have to slow down at the turns it could even take double or triple the amount of time so i don't know it's kind of like a give it give or take type of thing but anyways let's do this turn oh geez okay um, and when we're driving here, I just want to quickly mention that we do have a Minecraft server now, guys. Currently, there's only Skyblock on it, uh, but we're working on adding more and more stuff to the Skyblock server to make it very unique. Uh, right now, we're really looking at getting some hoppers that have functions that aren't in the usual game. Uh, so that's one of the things we're working on right now, but there's so much on there. There's even a PvP arena. You can set bets. You can make shops. Uh, you can have, like, spawners. You can really do a lot of stuff on there. It's really cool. And yeah, just want to mention that the IP is going to be down below, but it's mc.garrettplays.com. And you can join anywhere between 1.8.8 and, or actually, I think just 1.8, all the way up until um, Minecraft version, whatever the newest one is, which I believe is like 1.15, if I, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to mention that. And it's fully free to join too, so just if you have a Minecraft account on on a Java edition, then feel free to join. But anyways, how are we looking right now? Okay, got to turn here. We're not too far away. There we go. I'll do some third person action. I thought the call would be right there because that's usually where we have some firefighter calls. But I guess since this is brand new, yeah, this turn. I don't know how we haven't taken a fire truck off that cliff yet. I think we had a police car or an ambulance go off the cliff before, though, <laughs> during the live stream. There we go. Is it at the fire? Or, wait, I was just call it the fire station. That's a gas station, actually, but it does not seem to be there either. Very close, though. If you look at the map, you see that green dot in the bottom left-hand corner. That is where we are going to. And it says there's 15 fires. I've never taken out 15 fires before. At least not to my knowledge. Maybe one of the buildings that were on fire a long time ago, but... Oh my god, what is happening at this fire? Um, okay, as long as we don't get shot at this time, then we should be okay. I also don't have enough water with us, so we're going to have to really use our water to its max... Um, potential we just utilize it smart in a smart smart way <laughs> there we go alrighty yeah this is gonna be a little bit crazy we are full in water but yeah okay I'm gonna say let's start off with the fire extinguisher trying to get these low down ones 
See if we can just use one or two uh, five signatures at the beginning. And I'm also going to be keeping my eyes out though because I do not want to be attacked again. We did actually get a fire out there. Can we do like two at a time? Oh, there we go. We're doing three at a time with our fire extinguisher. I don't know how realistic that is, but it is working. There we go. Perfect. Probably should switch up our gear now. And I also forgot to grab our, our SCBA or scuba. I, I want to call it scuba, but that's not how you spell it. So I don't know what to call that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, water hose. There we go. And yeah, we've got to be very smart with this. So find, there we go. Can take out three fires at a time. That is the only way we're going to have enough water to do this. I don't believe there's any fires that are too high up. So obviously the water uh, line is what we want to use for fires that are very high up. But since we don't have any right now, should be okay. Is there any way I can get two fires? Uh, we're getting that far one somehow. Not quite sure how we're reaching it. But there we go. And then we know there's a fire here. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, we're taking out two at a time. That is what we were hoping for. And we are good. So why did someone burn down this house? I'm very confused. And how do they know it's arson as well? Maybe the suspect's already caught. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Where are these fires at? Oh, this one is quite low down, actually. Ooh, there might be a fire a little bit high up. I'm looking at the roof right now on the right side. Yeah, that is definitely... Definitely high up. Our fire extinguisher would not reach that. So luckily we realized before we ran out of water. There we go. Uh, we'll go for this one now. We probably could have done that one with our fire extinguisher now that I think about it. But it is a very hot zone. So it's better to just stay safe. Alrighty. And then we have these ones here. Can I take out multiple of these? Only one? Alrighty, we'll do only one. I think they're just too low down. We might have enough water, guys. There is a chance. Okay, one fire left. We should have enough water to do it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we might be good. It looks like we will just have enough water. And boom. Now we're out of water. We literally got that perfectly done. There we go. The smoke's disappearing. Disappearing. Alrighty. So yeah, we're out of water. That means we're definitely going to have to either find a hydrant or just go back to the station. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one we'll do yet. But I'll be back once we get another call. Okay, guys. So what we're actually going to do is I found a gas station that will give us both things we need. So water supply hose. Get this thing attached right over here it should fill up our tanker so there we go and we can also get fuel that is if i remember to turn this off which i didn't okay let's go ahead and turn it off there we go and i think we can fill up with fuel at the same time i don't know hopefully we might be able to <laughs> let's see go right here there we go Two hoses attached to our vehicle right now. By the way, I also went with a different character. Uh, we now have glasses on and it uses a yellow helmet. Uh, they're just normal glasses, like for better eyesight. Look good. All right, we'll take this off. Go there. And let's make it so we're available for calls. Okay, let's hop in here. Let's make sure we're all good. Yeah, we're full on water. And fuel is full on top of that. Perfect. So yeah, let's just wait for a call. I'm actually just going to chill out around here. We should get a call probably pretty shortly. Today's a very busy, 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 busy day. <laughs> That's a lot of busies, I know. 
but we'll just hit the road. There we go. Vehicle incident. Driver trapped. Let's accept it. This will probably be the last call out of the video. So yeah, just wanted to mention that. But here we go. Ooh, should we go this way? Uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? It's a little bit crazy with the roads, but we'll do it. No harm in it. Alrighty. But yeah, lots of windy roads around here. I do like how the map has windy roads, don't get me wrong. But it definitely makes for a very unique, unique driving experience. Especially when you have vehicles like these giant fire trucks or these heavy tow trucks or the police vans. Um, what's another vehicle? Oh, the ambulances. Those things are definitely fun to drive. <laughs> Luckily, we have a drift option when we hold down the space bar though okay perfect i'm actually we'll take the randy road i was gonna go that way since we could but if we do it this way i believe it's a shorter distance there we go lots of drifting going on lots and lots of drifting <laughs> Nice and slow. Well, not slow. We're going pretty fast, but around the turns, we do need to need to slow down. There we go. Yeah, with a fire truck this big, you can't just like easily go around these corners, no matter what you do, unless you're driving at like two miles an hour. What just happened with that vehicle? Yeah, like this turn here, very very sharp. Thank you for moving to the side. I appreciate it. Let's keep on going, guys. We're not too far away. Oh, geez. Okay. There we go. Head down here. And I believe... Where do we go now? Uh, we can actually go straight. That's what we will do. Because that will save us a lot of time. And a lot of stressful driving. All right. Past this turn will be the next one. It's a little bit hidden. Yep, it just kind of appears out of nowhere. <laughs> well, it doesn't really, but for me it does. <laughs> also, on the way to this call, I just want to mention as well that we do have a Discord server. You guys can make an account for free. You probably can even sign in with just like your Google account or YouTube account. But yeah, you can make an account for free if you if you don't want to sign in with something else. Um, and then yeah, you can talk to the community, see what's happening, hear about live streams and everything like that. So definitely feel free to check it out. And I'm gonna park up right over here. All right, here we go. Now we come back on up. There is a driver trapped. We have paramedics just waiting for us to get them out. There we go. Perfect. Keep our lights on though. And some directional arrows going that way. Again, doesn't really show at the front. It would be nice for the fire truck to have one at the front. Let's get this door open. This should be pretty quick actually. So rescue spreaders. Yeah, put that right uh, there. Oh, okay. Come on, get another grip. Story Bell is shaking on the screen. I'm not quite sure what that's from. There we go. Got it open. Now we do have to do an initial medical assessment as part of the law. So we'll go rescue, medical bag, and this is just to make sure they're ready for the paramedics. Okay, inspect. Now, personally, I would just, like I would think a paramedic would have a better job at doing this, but oh no pulse. Oh wait, have a pulse? Hold up. Oh no, okay, they do have a pulse. We're good, we're good. Uh, breathing, have pulse, conscious, possible neck injury. Yeah, I could definitely see why. It does not look like there's an airbag that got deployed. Okay, ambulance will take it from here. So here, actually, I'll apply neck color for them. There we go. And yeah, they should be able to get it. Look at EMS just on scene. Perfect. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, we do have a Minecraft server, mc.garretplays.com. Feel free to join. It's completely free. 
Also, you can check out our Patreon page if you want to join our Farming Simulator dedicated server for the Iowa series, which is really cool. That's linked down below as well. Um, another thing down there, G Portal, they host both the Minecraft server and the Farming Simulator server. G Portal, you can have 5% off using the link down below. Make sure to click it though. If you do not click that link, you will not get the 5% discount. And they have lots of amazing servers to choose from. You don't have to get a Farming Simulator one. You don't have to get a Minecraft one. You can get literally whatever server they have, 5% off on your first month. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Discord links down below as well. Bye bye. Wanna play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.